Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. This video right here, we're going to do something a little different. Hopefully it helps you out. This right here is going to be the mini hats that you have to wear as a t-shirt business owner or a clothing brand owner. So it's going to be like pretty much all the jobs that you have to carry within your own company and the actual positions that you can even hire out. I mean, essentially you could hire out every single position, but let's give it a quick little breakdown. All right, so uh, before I get started, make sure you check out OnlyNinjas.com for the chance to win a 16 by 20 Geo Night heat press or a 15 inch Graftech vinyl cutter. So every single dollar spent on merch at OnlyNinjas.com is one entry into the giveaway. But anyways, let's get straight to it. Hopefully this video turns out how I want it to be because I'm in an awkward position. I need to get like a mount for this. But anyways, you're the t-shirt owner. Okay, I can't write like this. I think I need to go to the other side. All right, so... You're the owner of your t-shirt business. Uh, hopefully y'all can hear me. You gotta worry about getting sales. You gotta worry about production. You gotta worry about fulfillment. I, I don't know how to spell, so I'm shortening it. <laughs> um, what else you gotta worry about? You gotta worry about customer service. Um, what else? Sales, production, fulfillment, customer service. I think for the most part, that's pretty much it, right? So uh, as far as sales, you got your own website. You can build your own website. You can sell on Shopify if like, you're doing a clothing brand, uh, whatever website it is, Amazon, Etsy, marketplaces, uh, if you're doing your own website. So if you're doing sales, you got to do it that way. Or you know, if you're doing events, uh, things of that nature, uh, stuff for events. So let's do E for events. Hopefully y'all can read this. I got a sloppy handwriting. E for events, uh, websites. So wherever you're gonna get your traffic from, right? So for sales for all three of these, you can also have ads. So ads, right? For traffic or however else you do it, word of mouth, um, actual door to door, like advertising. That doesn't necessarily mean going into neighborhoods and doing it. That also means like, you know, going into a business and handing out like a stack of cars at like a nail salon if your brand correlates to that or your t-shirt event correlates to that so uh that's what i mean by door to door right so from there you have traffic uh production let's go all the way down here can you still see that yeah you can so production if you're doing it yourself uh you're screen printing you're doing heat press uh for the most part that's pretty much the two right screen print screen print heat press dtg uh that's still to me that still undergoes heat press but this is if you're doing it yourself or you could outsource all the production. So you're gonna outsource everything uh, to another screen printer or DTG, uh, stuff like that, right? Fulfillment. You gotta worry about still managing the website or um, if you're at an event. So website or event, if it's a website, you gotta know how to actually process the orders. So you're gonna process the orders. Uh, for both of them, you're still gonna process the orders, right? But at an event, you're pretty much gonna sell it on the spot. So sell on the spot, on the spot. <laughs> But you still got to worry how you're going to take the cash, uh, manage like the actual uh, point of sale. So if you have a system for that, um, you got to worry about things of that nature. But as far as the website, you got to understand the checkout process. Do you have the supplies to do so? Poly bags, tape, boxes, uh, you know, extra items you want to include in your uh, fulfillment, stickers, things of that nature. I say things of that nature a lot, don't I? And I keep looking at the microphone and said the camera. I'm not even in the camera. But anyways, supplies. Pretty much getting out the door, going to the post office, uh, everything in fulfillment. You know, not just the post office, UPS, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to write PO for post office, though. So. All right, so customer service. So, so usually it goes by email, however else they contact you if you have issues. Um, not only email, but if somebody's at an event, you got to worry if that person's doing good uh, customer service, you or whoever else, right? So customer service, email. This is almost for any product-based online business. Or not online, just product-based business. But anyways, emails and events. So if somebody has something wrong with the order, they need it fixed, that's when somebody's going to contact you. So you got to worry about stuff like that. So when it comes to hiring an employee, you got to put all of this into perspective and think where you really need help at. So 
for your first employee? Do you need help with sales? Do you need ads? Do you need somebody to set up your website? Not only that, I would highly recommend you understand all of this first. So when you hire somebody out, you know how much that job is worth and you know if they're doing it right or not. So when it comes to sales, you can hire somebody for ads, public relations, uh, how they're gonna get traffic for you. You can hire somebody at this spot right here just to run ads. You can hire somebody at this spot right here just to do the websites. You can hire somebody to do both of them. You can hire an actual manager to do all of these sales. But uh, same thing, you can hire a manager for production. Um, especially if you're doing in-house, you got to make sure they know how to do it right. Um, if they outsource it, you have to know that they understand it as well. So um, let's say you're hiring a manager for production and you're hiring a manager for sales. So they both have to speak to each other and understand inventory, right? Your inventory. Because how much are they getting produced? How much kind of inventory you got? So that your manager over here knows how much to sell. But right now, if it's just your business and it's just you, this is both you. You really got to understand inventory. Inventory is important for everything. Inventory over here for fulfillment when it comes to supplies. Do you have the right amount of supplies to uh, ship orders out in a timely manner? So your fulfillment manager has to understand uh, to keep track of all the supplies for your fulfillment. Um, they have to understand how to get things to the post office. Understand how to fulfill orders on whatever it is. Your website, your point of sale at your event. And now when it comes to customer service, when it comes to management for that, they have to know every single point of contact that somebody's going to reach out to you and how they can fix a situation how they can solve a problem man i hope this video is worthy i don't know what i'm talking about i do but <laughs> i don't know if this video is worthy. but they have to solve a problem right so once again this is just a quick breakdown of all the little points where you could hire somebody out so if you don't want to hire a manager for anything and you just need somebody for production you can say hey i need a production person right here hey you know what i need somebody to just do fulfillment right here management for fulfillment you know what i just need them to uh actually process the orders and get the supplies you know you're still handling the rest but if you don't need help with that you need help with ads if you already know how to manage it and you want to hire it out to somebody else or you need help with it you can hire somebody for that so for the most part these are the four main teams that i see uh there's there's still a little more but it's kind of breaking down a little into detail but these are the main four that's going to keep your t-shirt business in structure and you can always get a manager for each one they have their own little meetings you're the owner guess what if you get a manager to replace you, make sure they follow you step by step, at least one or two people, and then, hey, take a day off. All right, so this is how you're going to get it done. If you're the business owner now, all of this is you. And guess what? There's one other little surprise at the end of the year. It's called taxes. And guess what? I can't help you with that because I'm not a tax expert, but make sure you get it done right. Um, I even spoke on this, the video I posted yesterday. So, you know, make sure you get it done because I can't help you with that. Uh, hopefully, is there a CPA that's watching? Hopefully, you want to get on a video with me. My CPA is just too goddamn busy. But anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, comment, like, subscribe, hit that little bell. I've never said hit the bell. I don't even know how to draw a bell. What's a bell look like? That looks like Taco Bell. Hit the bell button for the notification things. Taco Bell. Uh, but this is not an ad for Taco Bell. Don't eat there unless, like, you know, you really got to. But anyways, come like, subscribe. I do know Taco Bell works with a lot of influencers. <laughs> Why do I keep talking? Taco Bell, holla at me, man. Let's go. All right, my name is Rich. Come like, subscribe. See you next time. So I'm recording this just in case it wasn't in focus the entire video. Um, so like I said, you got the owner, you got the sales, you know, you got your websites. Uh, damn, I don't even know what I wrote. <laughs> You got your website like that's Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, you're doing a marketplaces or at an event. And then you got, you know, if you're doing ads, you need traffic to these events or these uh, websites. If you're doing ads or the mouth, door to door, um, this is up here, production. From production, you have screen printing, heat press, DTG, um, or you outsource everything. And then um, I guess we went back up. Right here we have fulfillment got website the process from getting an order out on the website right here you have an event you know uh what was sots i cannot remember <laughs> i don't know i made that one up but uh as far as that you know events uh checking out an event um fulfilling orders at an event you know point of sale things of that nature uh your supplies so you need supplies for all of this whenever it comes to fulfillment especially if you're doing online and then you got to worry about the actual logistics of it getting it out of the door to the post office to the customer all right and then over here you, of course you have your customer service you gotta worry about your emails and any other point where they can contact you right events so and then all of this uh you have to worry about 
inventory. So if you're selling something, you got to know how much you're selling. So that comes to production as well. Inventory for outsourcing, inventory for doing it yourself. Also inventory for actual fulfillment. You got to worry about like if you have the right amount of supplies to get the orders out, poly bags, boxes, tape, stuff like that. So all of these positions can be hired out, but you got to find your weak point or something that you feel like you can already hand off. For most people, it's usually fulfillment. That's a great way to start because you're already getting sales and you can produce it, but you need somebody to do the other part. Once it comes out of production, you need somebody to fulfill it out. So that's usually a starting point. And then you can teach that person the entire chain of that, how to order the supplies, how they know when it's almost out. You know, you can send them to events, uh, do the uh, fulfillment there, you know, selling things of that nature. But they need to have good customer service as well because remember, they need to have good customer service because this all has to do with your actual own t-shirt brand and business. All right. Peace. Hey, Hustle Ninja. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.